Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna show you a uh, demonstration that relates to density. I'm gonna do a famous chemical reaction in here. This is called baking soda and vinegar. You guys have probably seen this in elementary school. No. Um, anybody no. seen that? Baking soda and vinegar? Have you ever heard your teachers do, do that? No. What's gonna happen when I pour the vinegar in? Boom. It bubbles up like crazy. And do you know what it's making when it does that? Anybody? It's, it's making an invisible gas called carbon dioxide gas. Now, something interesting about carbon dioxide is it's heavier than air, right? Which means it has a higher density than air. So I am gonna light this candle right here and then I'm gonna set it in this beaker and I'm then gonna do something that might seem a little amazing, maybe magic-ish. All right, I'm gonna pour the carbon dioxide gas, which is invisible and is heavier and denser than air. I'm gonna pour it on this candle and we'll see what happens. No liquid is gonna come out, okay? I promise you, no liquid is going to come out. Uh, oh, 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 whoa, okay, candle went out. Maybe it was just the wind or something. So let me try and get the candle back on. What? Wait, maybe this thing is broken. It's not going back on. Look, what is going on? How about this? What if I did this? What if I take the candle out and I dump the invisible gas? Oh, well, you I can see, see some smoke. That's not carbon dioxide. Now, if I put it right side up and I relight the candle, will it still work? Like, look, can I see? It works again. So if there was actually invisible carbon dioxide gas inside here and that was preventing the fire from happening there was no oxygen in the bottom of this and that's because carbon dioxide is denser than air and that's it okay